Hello everyone, this is Old Butter Bob, and I'm going to call this video 100 Steak Fajita Meals. And I'm known for strange titles, and you'll see why I'm calling it that in just a few minutes. I had this guy write me the other day, and I have this kind of stuff happen all the time. This guy was kind of nasty, though, so he got my attention. He said, why don't you quit selling that snake oil about insulin and tell these people the truth? They ought to eat less and exercise more. These people always ask the wrong question. Always. Why don't you tell a fat person to eat less and move more? And I'm going to tell you why I don't. Because that is the wrong question. That's why. Here's the question for all these geniuses out there. If a person's got 500,000 extra calories hanging around their belly and their butt and their chinny chin chins, why would that person ever be hungry? And I do mean ever be hungry. Listen guys, if I take you down to my favorite little Mexican restaurant here in my hometown and I set before you a huge steak fajita meal with all the trimmings and I say eat eat all you want eat it all when you get done eating you're not gonna be hungry anymore I don't care how fat you are or how big an appetite you have you're gonna be satisfied let's just pretend I don't really know the answer to this question but let's just pretend that that huge steak fajita meal has about 5,000 calories which is probably reasonable. 5,000 calories. You know, if you're 150 pounds overweight like I was when I weighed 320 pounds, you're likely to have 500,000 extra calories hanging around your body. And that 500,000 calories is equivalent to 100 5,000 calorie steak fajita meals. A hundred. Why would you ever be hungry? That's the question these geniuses just don't get. And yet with all that energy sitting there, your body tells you to eat. It ignores those 100 5,000 calorie meals and it makes you hungry. Why? Why? Folks, really listen to me. When you get this, when you really, really get this, it's going to be a revelation in your mind. When you realize that this is a hormone problem, a blockage problem, you'll understand the problem and you'll understand how to fix it. George Cahill, unfortunately he's passed away, but George Cahill tells us in his papers, that as soon as insulin levels come down, the body begins the process of switching over to burning fat. That's what the body does. But as long as the insulin levels are up, the body doesn't make this switch. And here's the problem for all these geniuses out there. Most fat people, as I've told you in my other videos over and over again, most fat people have a higher insulin level in their body all the time when they eat and in between meals and even when they sleep. Now I explain this in great detail uh, in my video uh, fasting in the 50% insulin solution. I'm not going to go back over that in this one but go back and look at that. If the only way to get to your fat is to get the insulin levels down and your insulin stays up most of the time you don't have access to those 100 steak fajita meals. They're hanging over your belt, but you can't process them. You can't eat them, so to speak. And the only alternative your body has is to force you to eat something from the outside world. You know, a little Debbie snack cake is in your immediate future if you can't access those 100 5,000 calorie meals. You've got them hanging around, but you can't get to them, so your body has got to force you to get energy in some way. So it makes you hungry, and you'll eat. It's telling you the truth, actually. Your body's actually telling you the truth. It's hungry. 
because it doesn't have access to those calories that's in your body. They're blocked. They're blocked because of high insulin levels. As I've told you over and over again, and it's really simple actually, the normal weight person doesn't really have this problem because their insulin doesn't go that high when they eat. It goes back down fairly fast and it goes down while they sleep and they're, they're burning fat within a few hours. Guys, this is so important. I want you to really see this. The fat person doesn't need to eat less and exercise more. The fat person needs to get access to those 100 steak fajita, 5,000 calorie meals hanging around their belly and their butt and their chinny chin chins. If some of you ain't 100 pounds over, 150 pounds overweight. You may have 50 steak fajita meals. Some of you might have 200 steak fajita meals. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you've got 50 or 100. That's a whole lot of food. And the good news is you don't have to starve yourself or exercise yourself to death to accomplish this natural biological process. Trying to eat less is murder, as you know. But eating nothing at all for a time is easy. It's, it's so counterintuitive. It's so against the way we think. But when you eat a small amount, just like if you eat a little something in the morning, then you stay hungry. But if you eat nothing, you, you're able to go for hours without eating. Trying to eat a little makes you hungry. But the longer you eat nothing at all, the easier it gets. Why? Because when you eat nothing for a period of time, your insulin comes down and your body opens the floodgates of your fat. After a short while, you're not hungry. Because even though you're not eating food from the outside, you're eating thousands of calories from the inside. The same can be said for eating a very low-carb, high-fat diet. These foods hold insulin lower and kind of imitates the skinny person because when they eat, their insulin stays lower. Well, you're eating low carb, high fat, your insulin is staying lower than it normally would. Here's the problem. Fat people's insulin goes down on a low carb, high fat diet and it goes down while fasting. But it doesn't go down as fast or as much as a normal weight person's insulin. So to really fix our problem, we simply need more practice and for longer periods of time, daily, weekly, month after month, practicing over and over again this lowering of insulin. Look, low carb, high fat food during eating times keeps your insulin almost 50% lower than eating the junk most people eat. And fasting, even a short 24 hour fast can lower insulin 50% more than eating the low-carb, high-fat diet. Combine these two strategies and you have a powerful key to all those meals that you've been storing, those steak fajita meals. And even better, the day-by-day -day practice of this strategy actually makes your body much more sensitive to insulin. You know Dr. Jason Fung? He, he's got a brilliant video called Insulin Toxicity. And in there, he, he, he explains that any substance, any substance that we take too often and in too high amount, builds up a tolerance in our body. We get used to it and we need more to get the job done. You, look, if you don't drink, then a couple of shots of Jack Daniels will give you a heck of a buzz. But just three weeks of fasting every other day has been shown to make you seven times more sensitive to insulin. You can fix this problem. You can begin to eat those 100 steak fajita meals that you've got stored on your belly and your butt and your chinny chin chins. You'll notice your appetite come way down and your, and your energy will come way up. And as you practice this more and more, day by day, you'll get better at it and better at it. And you'll find that you'll naturally eat less and move around more because you're tapping in to the ultimate source of food. Your body's not going to starve at all. 
that you've got all that energy and now you have the key to unlock it. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.